Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today is part one of a three-part leaf series to make a garland. So grab your hook and yarn any size and you're going to start out by chaining 11. After you chain 11, sing, slip stitch in the fifth chain from the hook. You can either do, if you want a longer stem, in the fifth chain, if you want a shorter stem, in the sixth chain. But we're going to be working inside the circle here. Chain five. And then you will work a total of six treble crochets in the circle. I yarned over three times on that, but really it's only supposed to be two. I realized my mistake as I was working it, so it really is just a treble crochet. So you only yarn over twice. So after you finish your six trebles, chain three, which creates the top of the leaf and then working down the other side you're going to mirror what you just did and you'll treble six times and then you will chain five and slip stitch down into the circle that you've been working on chain one, turn your work, and working along that chain five you just made, slip stitch into that and then work five single crochets. And then coming up to your first treble, work a half double crochet in that top of that treble. And then in the next five trebles, work one double crochet in each of the trebles. So you'll have a total of five double crochets. And then once you get to the chain three space, work two double crochets, one treble crochet, chain two, and then you're going to mirror down the opposite side of what you've just done. So even in that same chain three space after that you do the chain two, you'll work one treble and two double crochets. Then working down the side, you will work one double crochet in the next five trebles and in that last treble crochet you will work one half double crochet and then working along the chain five at the very bottom of the leaf you will single crochet along that bottom and i'm going to write all this up in the description box so no worries, I know it's a lot. But luckily this leaf only has three rounds and we're on round two. So we're still working our doubles all down that side, mirroring the first side. And our half double crochet 
and of course you'll work five single crochets at the very bottom of the leaf in that chain five space. And when you get to the bottom, you'll slip stitch. Into the round. So once you have slip stitch, chain one, turn your work. And you will work one single crochet in the next four single crochets. And in the last single crochet you'll work two stitches. You'll work a single crochet and a half double crochet. And in the next stitch, which is the half double crochet from the round prior, you'll work two double crochets. And then in the next two double crochets, you'll work one double crochet in each stitch. In the next stitch, you will work three treble crochets, chain two, three treble crochets. And then in the next stitch, you will work a double crochet. In the next stitch after that, you'll work a half double crochet. And in the next three stitches, you will work one double crochet in each stitch for a total of three double crochets. And now we're going to work in the chain two space, which is the top of our leaf. You will work three treble crochets, chain four, and three more treble crochets all in that chain two space, which creates the top of the leaf and kind of gives it a nice little point. And then you will mirror the side coming down. Of course, everything's going to be written in the description box, but it is one double crochet in the next three stitches, a half double crochet, one double crochet, and then the next stitch, it's three treble crochets, chain two, three treble crochets. In the next two stitches, it's a double crochet in each stitch and then in the next stitch it's two double crochets in the next stitch which is your single crochet you'll work two stitches a half double crochet and a single crochet and then in the next four single crochets you'll work one single crochet in each and once you get to the stem you can slip stitch down the stem just to kind of give it a little bit of thickness. And again, once you know how to do the one side, it mirrors on the opposite side. 
And if you are making a garland, and I did not stiffen the back, but I will link a video on how you can stiffen your projects. I wanted my leaf to kind of be natural, wavy, that sort of thing like you would find in nature. So I didn't stiffen any of my leaves for this garland. And again, stay tuned for tutorial number two and tutorial number three on really simple, easy leaves that you can make um, for just a nice garland. You can make as many as you'd like. You can put them um, on your fireplace. You can wrap them around a pole and <laughs> whatever you would like, but they're just whimsical and you can even make these and sew them onto a pillow, a blanket. Um, and use them as appliques. So it's just a very simple leaf to make. And once you know how to do the one side, you just mirror it down the other side. done with our leaf. And you can use any color you'd like. I'm using three different colors for my leaves that I'm making. I have a, a, a reddish rusty maroon kind of color and a brown. So I made three leaves in or a leaf in each color. So you can do as many as you'd like, as little as you'd like. It's just a fun little autumn project you can do. And I thank you all for crocheting along with me. There's our little leaf. <laughs> And I think it turned out really cute. Now for picture purposes, I put the garland on the fireplace, but then I ended up putting it somewhere else in my house. But here's one of the leaves in tutorial number three. And this is the leaf we just made. And then in tutorial number two, here is the next leaf. And then once you attach them all, which I'll also do a um, video on that, your garland will look like this. I thought it was just super cute. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.